Hi, this is lesson number 49 from our Photoshop training series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create this beautiful lighting effect using field blur and masking technique in Photoshop. We will also add brightness on our image. So here I have the same a picture without effect. We are going to use this. The first thing we will use pen tool to create path. Here we have pen tool. If you don't know how to use the pen tool, you can watch exercise number 27 from this playlist. So I'm going to use the pen tool, click on pen tool and simply we will create a path. Click and here we can click and drag to add a little bit curve from the top. This way. Once again click. Make sure that you cover all the area light is bouncing. By pressing control key we can click on any point and adjust this way. So this is how we have path. Now we are going to make selection from this path. So right click on the screen and click make selection. Here you can assign the radius from the edge. One is OK. It will add smoothness. Then click OK. So here we have simple selection. Layer 0 that is our background layer. And for this selection, we are going to add new layer. So click here to create new empty layer. Layer 1 is here. And the color we are going to take from the light. Previously, I used the same color, so it is there. In your case, you can click and choose the color source from the image. Layer is selected. Press Alt and Backspace to fill color. Select, deselect. Since our color it is in new layer, we can change the blend mode. Let's change the blend mode to soft light. So here we have effect. Using field blur, we can control the smoothness. Go to filter, blur gallery, and the first one is field blur. Field blur is having ability that you can customize the blur effect according to your specific needs. So one point is automatically added from the center we can just move this way and in circle if we will bring up this way clockwise it will add more smoothness counterclockwise it will be sharp so on this point we want blur this way now we are going to add another point at the bottom here so simply click and now add more smoothness this way And simply click OK. The effect is applied but you can see that the color is draining over the image in this area. If I will turn off this layer clearly you can see the crisp and sharpness in this area. So this thing we can control with the mask. The layer is selected simply click on add layer mask. Make sure that your foreground color is white and background is black. If not you can just click on this button here so it will become default. Click on gradient tool and make sure here white and black gradient it is selected. Simply click and drag by pressing shift key you can make it straight. So this is how we can adjust. Since we have really strong intensity from the light the image in this area it should be more bright. To add brightness we can duplicate the image, add the brightness using dodge tool. Under the gradient tool here we have dodge tool, click it. This is how here we have brightness. If you want to organize your work a little bit more, you can add these two layer in separate folder. Image layer is selected, press control key and select the light. And simply click on create new group. So here we have new group. Double click and we can add name lighting effect. So in this group here we have two layer the image with brightness and the lighting effect. This is before and this is now. Using this technique easily you can add lighting effect this way in your image. For your practice, you can Google the similar image 
and apply same effect. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you like this video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification so you will be notified every time I upload new video. Thank you.